Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So just the other day, I released this video, which showed you how that you could get the minimum firmware version off of your jailbroken PS4 using tools that were called PS4 Wii Tools. Now, PS4 Wii Tools is a project that has been actively maintained and it is still fairly new, but this is a application that is for NOR and for Syscon manipulations. Now, I used this application in this video right here because it was pretty easy. All you really needed to do was to download the files and then provide your S flash zero from your jailbroken console in order to get some of the information. And some of that information being the current version and then again, the minimum version. Now, one thing, this one did not include the firmware that you could potentially revert back to. So in today's episode, what I plan to show you is how you can use a hex editor in order to find not only your minimum firmware version, but the previous firmware that your PlayStation 4 can revert to. Now, before I get started, I definitely wanted to send a big thank you over here to Zecco Shell because he definitely gave me tons of information about this when previously I was just looking at some old threads on PSX Place. Anyway, he took time to explain it to me, so I appreciate that. And so without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. So we will begin over on our PlayStation 4. Make sure that your system is already jailbroken and you have Gold Hand installed and just make sure that the FTP is running. So again, if you go into server settings and place a check mark right here for enable FTP server, then it will give you the IP address of your PlayStation 4. Once you get that, we're going to go ahead and switch back over to the PC and load up FileZilla to copy some files over. Okay, so at this point, you should already have FileZilla installed, especially if you saw my last YouTube tutorial. But if you go over here to the host, that is going to be the IP address of your PlayStation 4, and it doesn't need a username and a password, and then the port at 2121, and then press the Quick Connect button. You will see over here, there is all of the files that's on your PlayStation 4. So let's go ahead and let's navigate into the dev folder. Now, before we go any further, let me go ahead and explain the files that we need to look out for. And so the files that you are going to need to download, the very first one is s flash zero s one dot crypt x one. And this is how you're going to get the minimum firmware version that your PS4 can go to. So let's go ahead and let's grab that one right now. So inside of the dev folder, we're going to just scroll down here and right there it is. This is s flash zero s one dot crypt x one. So we're going to take that one and we're just going to drag and drop that over to our computer. The second file that you're going to need is going to be the s flash zero s one dot crypt x three B. Now, this is actually where you're going to get the previous firmware that your PS4 could revert or downgrade to. Now, keep in mind, you would obviously need some soldering skills and a couple of the other tools in order to revert back to what was previously on your PlayStation 4. So let's go ahead and let's grab this file right now. And that is going to be this one right here, which is s flash zero s one dot crypt x three b. And we're just going to drag and drop that one back over to that same exact location where we stored the previous file. Now you will need a hex editor, and the one that I'm using today is just going to be HXD. Now, there are online hex editors that you can use, but I absolutely just prefer one that's running on my local computer. So if you head over to this website, then basically you'll be able to scroll down and then you can download the one according to what version of the operating system that you currently have. 
go ahead and download it and get it installed and then come right back to the video. So now HXD should be loaded up and we're gonna begin by looking for the minimum version that our PS4 can go to. So go ahead and go up to file and go to open. And we're just gonna simply select the one that ends with the CryptX one. Select that one and then press open. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to search and we're going to go to go to. And then for the offset here, we're just going to simply type in 10008 and then press OK. And so you will see by default, it automatically has highlighted a part of the application and it just simply has this cursor right here. Now, in order to determine the minimum firmware, well, for this one, it's going to simply be a 05.55, as you can tell just right here. Now, if you cross-reference this with PS4 Wii Tools, you'll find that Wii Tools reports the same exact thing, and that's basically because that's where they're getting that information. So now you know the absolute minimum firmware version your PS4 could go to. So 05.55 is very typical for a PlayStation 4 Slim or a PlayStation 4 Pro. And in this instance, I've got a PS4 Pro. Now let's go ahead and let's open up the other file. So we'll go back to file and then open. And this time I'm going to select the Crypt 3B and press open here. So again, we'll go up to search and we'll select go to. And then for the offset here, we're gonna select 2 elf 4 and there again is a cursor that is highlighting and for this one the absolute lowest firmware that i could go to or revert back to using this downgrade process would be 07.51 and now if that 2 f4 offset doesn't work for you Control Execute or Zecho Shell said that it is always before this garbage right here. So looking into this, you can see 07.51 located right here. And then these are going to be all zeros. And then here was the 07.51 that we found at 2F4. And just to wrap things up here, so for my PlayStation 4 Pro, what we found out today was, was that the minimum firmware version is at 5.55 and then the previous version that I could potentially downgrade to for this PlayStation 4 Pro would be 7.51. Anyway, I hope this information helped you out there just a little bit. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Michael out.